This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a tileable alpha map and apply it to a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a model loaded in that contains a few subtools. These are some little greeble bits. So I want to take these parts here and create a tileable alpha map, and then use that alpha map to apply to another model. So how can I go by doing that inside of ZBrush? So to start off, we first need to create our tileable map. So I'm gonna navigate up here to the document palette up here, and I'm first going to change my canvas size to the texture map size I wanna create. So I wanna create a square texture, let's say something like 1024 by 1024. So first I'm gonna disable Pro over here, and then I'm gonna change my width to 1024, and then change my height to 1024, and then click resize. This is going to resize your canvas. I'm just gonna hit yes to this. And you'll notice now that the tool I had in there has been dropped to 2.5D and it's looking a little bit squished. So I'm now just gonna hit Control N to clear my canvas out like so. So the basic principle I'm gonna to use to create this tiling alpha is the 2.5D system inside of ZBrush. So this is going to allow me to take this tool I have selected, now draw this out on my canvas like so, and then once it is drawn out in 2.5D, if I press the tilde key, which is next to the number one button on your keyboard, and then simply click and drag, you're gonna notice it's going to scroll your texture map here, and it's gonna create a tiling effect. So you can see as I move that model to the edge of the canvas there, it's going to appear on the other side. So this is going to give you that tiling ability. So now that we have this, I can use any of the options inside of ZBrush related to 2.5D to draw these models out on the canvas. So I'm just gonna control N to clear this one again here. And then I'm gonna navigate over here to the stroke. So by default, when you draw a model out, it's gonna be in that drag rectangle. So I can just draw it out like so and then hit T. And now I'm in edit mode like normal. And with this, I could use the snapshot functionality so I could position my model on the canvas. And now hit Shift S, which will snapshot that model and turn it into 2.5D, basically cloning it. So I could come through and just position the model like this, and then just keep hitting Shift S in between to start creating my pattern like so. And then I can get out of edit mode and then press tilde, and you'll see now it's going to have that tiling ability, and come back, draw that model out again, go back into edit mode, position it, Shift S, position it, Shift S, position it, shift S, and just continue like so to create a tiling texture. So if you wanna go another route on this, I'm just gonna hit Control N to clear this all out and get out of edit mode here. And instead of using this direct rectangle stroke, you have a whole bunch of other strokes you can use in this 2.5D mode. So one of the fun ones over here is this line two option. And this will allow you to take whatever tool you have selected, click and drag, and it's gonna drag it out like so. I can change the size on this and just come through and drag this out. Then I come to another area, drag out again, go to another area, drag out again, then hold tilde and scroll the canvas. So I can frame it to here, drag out again, hold tilde, scroll the canvas, drag out, and just keep filling in these empty spots on the canvas here to make my tiling map. So here now I have a nice tiling map like so. So that is using the line two stroke there. Another one that's really cool is using the spray stroke here. So I can set a smaller brush size and then start applying the spray, which is gonna give this kind of effect. And then use tilde to offset there and just keep coming through and creating a tiling map like so. And this once again is 100% tileable through here. So it's just taking your model turning it into 2.5D in multiple ways, depending on what stroke you have, and then using tilde to move it around, fill in the different holes, and that's gonna allow you to create that seamless effect. Now, after you have this seamless effect created, to turn it into a map, you just need to come over to the alpha tab over here, go to transfer, and then simply click grab dock. Now, this is gonna give you a new alpha map, and now that you have this alpha map and it tiles, you can now apply it to a model. I'm just gonna hit Control N here. Now I'm gonna go over to my tool palette again and I'm just going to select a plain 3D object. Make sure I go back to that drag rectangle stroke there and just drag it out like so and then hit T. 
And now that I have a plane loaded in here, I can now use those alphas I just created and apply them as surface noise. So I'm first gonna export those alphas out. So I'm gonna select one of these guys here. So we'll select this pattern row one, and I'm just gonna export this out. And I'm just gonna save this as pattern row one and just click save on that. And now that I have my geometry selected and come over here, make sure this is a poly mesh 3D. I'm gonna go to the surface noise panel here, activate noise. Then I'm gonna come to this alpha on off and just simply click that. And I'm gonna to navigate to that folder and find that tiling off of there and just fly that guy there. I'm gonna flip the curve horizontally, turn mix basic noise all the way off, turn strength up, and then you can adjust the alpha scale like so. And then when you're happy, hit okay. And you're gonna see you're now gonna have that tiling pattern applied to a model. So right now this is in just preview mode for the noise here. So if you render with BPR, it's gonna show you what the geometry result is going to look like if you convert it. So that looks pretty good there. I can adjust the strength by coming back in here and then hit BPR again. And after you have it looking like you like, you can come to the geometry tab here and simply click convert BPR to geo. And it's gonna transfer that into geometry. So there you have that tiling alpha that was just created being applied to that model like so. So that is the process to come through and quickly create a tiling alpha using 2.5D and the tilde key, which is the key next to the number one on your keyboard. You can create that alpha map like so and then apply it to your model. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.